it is way up at Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. G Money is here. Yes, ma'am. Feel good Friday. And let's get into some Yee Tea. All right. Well, started off with Funny Marco and Chris Brown. You mm-hmm. know, Chris Brown has his album, 1111. Correct. And in anticipation of that, he sat down with Funny Marco in yet another funny interview. Now, Funny Marco asked a really awkward question about Chris Brown having a baby with a sister that looks just like him. I got a sister that looked just like me, and she want to have a baby by you. You play with Hell no. Nah. No. My bad, I didn't mean to diss your sister like that, I'm just saying. But, no. Her name, Ashley. What's up, Ashley? <laughs> he said, hell no. I wonder if his sister looks just like him. Um, and in addition to that, he also brought up, Chris Brown brought up the G Herbo situation mm-hmm. when G Herbo and Southside were on Funny Marco's show and things didn't go so well for him. Here's what happened. Why you let G Herbo and them do you like that? Because I was just like in the mall, I was like, damn, like this happening. So you just letting light skin just bully you. And it's like if you was in a car wreck, you can't stop it. Like as you tumbling, I'm just like, damn, the car tumbling. <laughs> the car. When has a car tumbled? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no airbag. Uh, all right, so you guys can check out that full interview, which is great promo, yes, I think, with Chris Brown's album. I didn't see him doing too much. Mm-hmm. All right, Robert De Niro's production company, Canal Productions, did have to pay his ex-employee, the one that took him to court, $1.2 million in civil cases. His, his executive assistant, who worked there in 2008 and ended up being vice, uh, the company's vice president before she left in 2019. So she got that money uh, for damages. And remember, she was saying that he had her doing all kinds of things, yeah. like going to get a drink from Nobu in the middle of the night. He even called her during her dad's funeral, asking her to oh, do no. things. Yes, and so they did not, however, find Robert De Niro as an individual liable for gender discrimination and retaliation claims, but it is the company that's liable. Okay. All right, Beyonce has dropped the new worldwide trailer for her Renaissance film. Here's a little snippet of that. I close my eyes and travel through realms of space and time. Reality holds no power or control of my state of mind on my voyage to find a source to charge my inner being. Assembly line frequency as I tap my MPC. In this world that is very male dominated, I've had to be really tough to balance motherhood and being on this stage. It just reminds me of who I really am. All right, Renaissance, a film by Beyonce, comes out in theaters December did you go to the show? 1st. I did not make it out to that any of the shows. I know. I feel My like... daughters went. My daughters went to Beyonce and Taylor Swift. They did both shows. Oh, wow. I feel like I was at the Beyonce show, though, as much as people posted. I'm yeah. like, I feel like I'm there. <laughs> <True>. <laughs> All right, it's 57 shows that she did on this tour. Sold out, by Cha-ching! the way. Cha-ching! 57 shows. And speaking of Cha-ching, Bad Baby made $38.6 million her first year on OnlyFans. You know, she started it only one month after she turned 18. And listen, that's how much she made. $38.6 million. What was she showing on her OnlyFans? I didn't look, so I don't know. I didn't look neither, but... All right, cash me cash me outside. Man. All right, well, that is your Yeet. And when we come back, we have Under the Radar. The stories that are not necessarily in the headlines, they are flying under the, the radar. radar. All right, and you'll be happy about this. Speaking of shows, the Fugees have yes. been on tour. Yes. So here is some um, Killing Me Softly. Yes. It's Way Up with Angela Yee.